What is going on, guys? Welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Tesla stock because the stock just jumped up over 12% in overnight trading hours. And it looks like the main catalyst for this is probably the fact that Donald Trump is about to win this election. But we also have some other news that they are going to begin deliveries of the Cybertruck in Canada after a long wait. So this now makes it the third country after the United States and Canada. So, but the big thing is probably that Donald Trump is about to win here because Elon Musk endorsed Donald Trump and it looks like they get along pretty well together. So I think that's going to make it a lot easier for Elon Musk to, let's say, expand the business and do some different things with the business that he might want to do that would have been harder if Kamala was president. Um, so that's a good thing. Now, how do I feel about the stock being at this price? Well, I think it's overvalued. Um, the last video I made on Tesla, I was talking about when it hit 260, I think it was overvalued. And even now, if let's say they let's say they get a tax cut, right, and it improves their margins and their net income goes up and all that stuff, I still think we're looking at a rich stock because this company now is going to be $807 billion, right? And Tesla did, how much do they do in net income? $12 billion in the income for the last 12 months. That's a lot. I have to say that's a lot. But if we're still looking at it from a PE ratio standpoint, it's going to be trading over 70 times earnings now, right? What's, let's see, we have, yeah, forward earnings of 76. And that's not, that's, well, I don't know. That that might be, that actually might be factoring in um, the the jump. So actually, let's, let's do this. If the stock is $283, and they're expected to do $3.26, the stock's at 86 times earnings, right? That's kind of ridiculous, especially compared to where the stock normally trades, you know, anywhere from a 34 to a 80, 86 times earnings is not gonna last long. Unless this company, which they're expected to do 3% revenue growth this year, then 16% revenue growth next year. And remember, that's that's for next year's earnings. There, it's 86 times forward earnings, let alone on a this year's basis, it's trading at, 114 times earnings, right? That's just ridiculous. So unless this, this company would have to come out and maybe double their EPS, if their EPS doubled and we're looking at $5 EPS, then I would say it's justified, right? Because then we'd be looking at like a 56 times earnings, which is really what the company should be trading at, not 86 times earnings. So I'm bullish on Tesla and Elon Musk long-term. I would like to get back into the stock. I've been a, a longtime shareholder of this stock. It's made me more money than any other stock, but I need to see the stock at a healthy valuation and not only healthy, but it needs to be undervalued for me to actually invest in it. And that probably means the stock needs to be closer to $200 a share, if not $180 a share. So that's the way I see this. I'm just, I, I, I hold my five shares now pretty much just so I could like keep an eye on it and I get notifications if it moves up or down. But other than that, for me to make a big position, I'd have to see this stock drop quite a bit. And I think it it should happen. It really should. I mean, unless the stock could stay at this price for the next 12 months, that then it would be justified maybe by in a year from now. But right now, I, I don't see it. So that's all I have to say about Tesla stock. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you in the next video.